All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link with whoever you have in your network. Um, we made a video a few hours ago about the death of Muhammad, proving that Muhammad is a false prophet from the reference which is shown by Muslims. And a Muslim, he uh, sent me uh, a response saying that first of all, Muhammad did not die by poison. And he is saying, well, the poison or the poisoning of Muhammad happened many years, uh, or let us say the death of Muhammad, sorry, happened many years after uh, uh, he ate from the poison. So how it could be that he died by the poison? <clears throat> uh, here we need to discuss a little bit of uh, issues. And uh, as I always, I say, take the Muslim logic to refute the Muslims. Uh, for me, I believe that if somebody took a poison today, still it's possible to die long after because the poison is, is, a, is a kind of uh, damage which you cannot uh, fix. That's it. So if you survive, it does not mean uh, you survive totally, depending on what this poison did. Like in some cases, even you might lose a limp. Uh, you, you might cut your uh, your leg, depend like if, if the snake bite you somewhere and it was too late. So <clears throat> poison can damage limbs and depend what and how you receive that poisoning. Muhammad received the poisoning by food, and which mean uh, you cannot make a cut like normal bite of a snake where maybe in your foot and you make a cut, you bleed. Uh, and that will make the poison go. Uh, this is in the stomach. It's a food he ate. Same time, <clears throat> let us assume that what you are saying, you know, have a point. But that means still that your prophet is a false prophet. Because if you're a prophet, according to you Muslims, if you remember the hadith where a man, he came to Muhammad asking Muhammad about his brother who is suffering from illness. You're a prophet, he told him to go and drink uh, uh, honey. And the man he did, he came back, he said, my brother is getting worse. Muhammad, he screamed at him and he says, go and tell him to drink honey. The man, he came for the third time, etc. And then at the end, Muhammad, he said to the man, your, you know, your, uh, your brother's stomach did lie and Allah told the truth. Which means when Muhammad, he talked even about health, he claimed that this is inspired to him by Allah. And here Muhammad is speaking about his own health. So imagine he is inspired by Allah to speak about the health of someone else, but he is not inspired by Allah to speak about his own health. If you go in the hadith, we will find the following. <clears throat> and this is in Sahih al-Bukhari. The one who is saying that he is dying by the poison is your prophet. So when you say he did not die by poison, simply you are saying Muhammad was telling false information. And that's again will lead us to conclusion that Muhammad is a joker. He cannot be trustworthy to listen to what he say. If you Muslims, you deny what your prophet say. And you accuse him that he is lying or even he's wrong in the in the best scenario. That's mean he Muhammad is not a prophet. You see, when uh, the funny thing about Muslims, if we said to them, did, do did Muhammad say anything wrong? They would say never. Did he ever spoke wrong? They would say never. Is he always speak good? They say yes. Now, because that to prove his death, his death proven here that Muhammad is a false prophet. They are trying to reject that but the one who reject that actually is the naive ones not the educated muslims let us say those you know um, i i don't want to call them uh, <clears throat> i cannot call them high school because high school is a lot of education for those people i want to call them those people who go in denial from the facts so now did muhammad die by poison or not muhammad say yes you say no so which one we should follow? If we follow you, that's mean you are the prophet and he is the false prophet. 
So you choose one and please leave the comment. Secondly, let us see what the scholars of Islam says, not me and you. Not only what the Prophet said, because look like you Muslims are trying to get away with it. Uh, I looked for the reference in English uh, so we can find the solution for this. This is a Muslim website. <clears throat> And you can search for the title yourself. Let us go back to the top. This is Al Islam, uh, Islam uh, QA. And this is the title you see The Jews Attempts to Kill the Prophet. The Jews Attempt to Kill the Prophet. Uh, the fatwa number, as you see here, is a 32762. Fatwa, for those who do not know, is a holy, uh, sorry. Is a religious opinion from scholars according to uh, like people of knowledge based on the teaching of the Prophet and the Quran and reference and hadith, etc. So, this is not the people in the streets, you know, saying things, those are supposedly the best of the Muslims, the most educated ones, uh, the one who can read because the rest of the Muslims do not know how to read, including Muhammad. Now here the question is about the Jews attempting to kill the Prophet and here is the answer that the Jews attempt to kill the Prophet many times according to this reference but we will see here uh, the conclusion <clears throat> here talking about then come the poison incident after the conquest of Al uh, Khaybar uh, Bukhari 2617 and Muslim 2190 two, two, this is the reference Narrated from Anas that the Jewish woman she came to the Prophet Messenger of Allah, uh, uh, etc., and then with some poison uh, meat, the Messenger of Allah uh, ate from it. And when he asked her about that, she said, I wanted to kill you. He said, Allah would not let you do that. And this is the challenge for the Muslims because he said to me in the previous video, you said that the Prophet he said to the women, Allah will not let you do it. But the hadith you showed us in the screen, it did not say that. My friend, that's because of your ignorance. Because if, you do, if uh, do I have to show you all the hadith, I mean, I'm sh sharing with you my knowledge. And always my knowledge is going to be uh, proven to be wrong if, uh, you know, if, if anyone challenged me. Like uh, when I say something, like now, you did it challenge me. He says, this is a lie. There is nowhere he says to her, Allah will not let you do it. Where do you get this from? That's because you of your ignorance. So you thought maybe I'm lying, and he said to yourself, "Okay, here we go. He is. Uh, we got something against him. So let us, ex you know, challenge him to show us where he got this from." Let me zoom more in the page, uh, so you guys can read the text maybe better. I think this is better for you guys, right? <clears throat> so look what happened here. Muhammad he said to the woman, "Allah." will not uh, let, uh, let's read word by word word by word as muhammad said he said allah would not let you do that what allah will not let you do that do what exactly to kill him <laughs> another false prophecy of a false prophet because if you just said Allah would not let you do that is that a knowledge you speak of or this is a lie you are making up why Allah will not let her do that people get killed so Muhammad here claiming that he is above mankind and he is protected by Allah so Allah will not let you do that one of the Muslims in the text he says to me uh, that he did not kill her you know and not only that one of them he said oh she converted to Islam I mean all those lies are amazing the Muslims how they fabricate lies here it says they said shall we kill her he said no he said I can still see the effect on that uh, etc the one I ate and then they continue the story. He did not kill her right away. He killed her after. And now what we said, it is that the poison still left some trace in, uh, of uh, blackness, etc. And then, 
the report differ in which that was was uh, was uh, was she killed but they are not different about is she killed or not about when she was killed it seemed that the prophet of blessing be upon him did not kill her at first but when Bashar or the guy who is with him he died as a result of this poison he ordered her to be executed so yes she was killed and she was executed now here we have another story about uh, about what happened and I want the Muslims to focus with me because this is extremely important the death of this man is proving to us that he is a false prophet narrated from al-bukhari when etc etc blah, blah, okay uh, 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 a roasted poisoned sheep was uh, presented to the prophet as a gift by the jews the messenger of allah uh, said uh, let the jew who have been here uh, be assembled before me the jews were gathered and the messenger of allah uh, uh, said will you now tell me the truth if i ask you about something they replied yes he asked have you poisoned this sheep they said yes he asked what made you do that they said wanted to know if you are a liar, if you were a liar in which case we would have get rid of you and if you are a prophet then the poison would not harm you so as you see the challenge here is not just about killing Muhammad this is an examination of how legitimate this man is and if you go back in the top we just read for you where Muhammad he says Allah will not let you do that let you do what she said to him exactly I want you to kill you in al-Bukhari and in a Muslim she said that the women she said that if you are a, a, a prophet poison will not affect you if you are just a king you will die so if you are a prophet you will survive it and God will protect you so here the story is continue to prove the same if you are just a liar you will die and if you are a prophet the poison will not harm you <clears throat> now was Muhammad killed by this poison let us continue our read and again remember everything we are showing you in front of us this is the statement of the Abdul not my statement I have nothing to do with it all right read carefully with me the prophet used to feel ill because of this food so since Muhammad he ate that food this is a point of a change of his health this is not something like after three years he starts suffering from something no since that day his life changed so he's suffering since then it's not something later happened so the poison obviously uh, uh, destroys some of his organs he harmed badly and Muhammad is dying now slowly death and actually there's many hadith speaking about him keep, keep vomiting whatever he eat etc so because of this food he, food because of this food this is your Muslim talking not me he used to feel ill and, and Aisha she said in the hadith in Sahih Bukhari that he used to say if we go to Aisha let us, let us, let us grab Aisha from her hair uh, she will tell us the story I mean the hadith of Aisha from the hair of Aisha because always she put her hadith of the Prophet in her head as the Muslims they claim the Prophet in his element in which he died used to say used to say look with me at used to say it's not something he said once he kept repeating the same this guy is suffering a lot and he used to say so now oh Aisha I still and here look at the word I still I still feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar so since that time until now until his death he still feel the same pain which caused by the food he ate at Khaybar this is not something new this is something happened since he ate the food and don't tell me Muslims that you know better than your prophet what he feel and don't tell me that you feel what is inside his stomach more than him and suddenly you Muslims you don't agree with Muhammad 
and Muhammad became a guy who not to listen to uh, so you will notice here that Muhammad saying two things actually I should say in two things that he used to say which mean this is something not repeated once it is something repeated many times maybe every five minutes used to say oh Aisha I still feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar so I still which mean I never stop feeling that pain obviously and now there is something new look what he said and at this time I feel as if my orta is being cut from that poison that is the new so he feel the pain of the food since he ate it yes never stop I still feel the same pain I ate since I ate in Khaybar but now there is more pain as if my arta is being cut off and this is what bothering the Muslims because this is what the Quran says that Muhammad if he is a liar Allah will cut his artery a person says to me uh, does it say this the, that in the Quran yes it does say that as you see this is the Al-Watin Al-Watin is the artery and that's why the Muslim translation says uh, artery too so uh, Muhammad here in the in the hadith by confirming how he died and the Quran confirming that if Muhammad is a liar he cannot escape our punishment and if the messenger were to invent any of our saying which mean he is a fabrication a fabricator he is a liar if he is a liar to invent any saying in our name we should certainly size him by his right hand and we should certainly cut off his artery of his heart but look Muhammad saying that he die exactly in such a way and this is what is bothering all those Muslims in the comment in the previous video and this is why many Muslims actually they are making videos against my video trying to refute me but you cannot and you know just to show you that Muhammad he died by the poison it's not me who's saying that all your scholars agree Shia and Sunni let us see the Shia first this is a Shia scholar his name is Yasser al-Habib the video name you can search it it's called who killed who killed Prophet Muhammad so this is the Shia believe truly that Muhammad was killed was killed by the poison this is number one now what about the Sunni we showed you Sahih Bukhari we showed you Aisha Aisha she's saying that he's what he said he is feeling the pain but maybe you don't believe in Aisha no more because it's embarrassing so what about those scars in the same page we are reading from look what those Muslim scars they say they say that Muhammad he died by that poison and I will see that later look the women here uh, the one who killed Muhammad uh, or the he, he, Muhammad he gathered the Jews and he asked them why you did that they said well we want to see if you were a liar which in case we have to get rid of you and if you are a prophet you know that will not harm you anyway then we will see here the prophet uh, uh, of Allah used to say I feel the to feel ill because of the food and it would be treated by a, a, a copying of, of for that which mean Muhammad actually what they used to do they used to make a cut in his throat imagine there is a guy who is supposed to practice uh, Arabian medicine he used to cut he make a cut in his throat and he that is done over and over and over trying to save Muhammad so Muhammad he bleeded from his throat in order to get rid of the poison but obviously it's not working because they used to do that always it's not one time so from time to time they make him bleed in purpose so his blood will be refreshed and changed but it's not working and as you see this is what you Muslims saying actually even the hadith report you know report that Ahmad narrated from Ibn Abbas that the Jewish women sent a gift to the Messenger of Allah uh, of a poisoned roasted sheep. He sent to her and asked her, "What made you do the, the, uh, uh, what you do, what you did?" She said, "I wanted to see if you are a prophet. Then Allah would tell you about it." 
Allah will tell you about it and if you were not a prophet people would be rid of you because simply you're a liar now here you see and this is the funny whenever the messenger of Allah felt ill as a result of that he would have himself treated by cuping no one in, in uh, no one occasion uh, he traveled and then he entered a haram he felt uh, ill as a result blah 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 so because always they do this cut in his throat always to make him bleed so he can survive so muhammad was treated for this many many time trying to get rid of his blood and this is not only one time deal uh, things is getting worse and the medical uh, expert at the same called him the doctor at that time he do that to muhammad by cutting uh, making a cut in his throat making him bleed hoping that will get rid of some poison and that will make him survive by having a new fresh blood then you see here it says that the editor of al musnad classified this hadith as a sahih so don't tell me it's a weak then that had an impact in causing his death so blessing be upon him died as a murder shaheed as ibn mas'ud said who is the one who said that the prophet died as shaheed as a murder ibn mas'ud and they agree all of them they agree if i swear if i to were to swear by allah nine times that the message of Allah and the blessing upon him was killed that is more that is more beloved to me than swearing once because Allah made him the prophet made him a murder narrated by Ahmad 3617 the editor said it's a snad is sahih according to the conditions of Muslim so now what we have in front of us you Muslims accuse me that I am a twisting words you're accusing me that this is not what happened you said no the the prophet did not die by poison but even your scholars and the best of the scholars and even i mean those are the your highest the cousin of muhammad everybody saying muhammad that he died by uh, 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 by poison so what we discover here that muhammad his death his death is uh, uh, is a clear evidence that he is a false prophet because remember the whole story and I am really amazed uh, uh, usually Muslims are not honest when they speak about things because look here I see a lot of honesty which is weird uh, I'm really uh, I wasn't I wasn't I was surprised to see this article in English because usually they don't really uh, give uh, any truth because remember it says in the same page many times repeat 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 it that we wanted to see if you are a prophet Allah will protect you if you are not you will die and here they reported that Muhammad he said to the women Allah will not let you do it Allah will not what Allah will not let you do that do what to be able to kill me the women she is trying to test Muhammad if he is a prophet or not if he's a liar or not so when Muhammad he says to her that Allah will not let you do that Muhammad he just confirmed that if this has happened that's mean he is a false prophet <clears throat> let us see anyway there's no need actually to to look for more hadith uh, 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 Let us see. All those hadith in front of, of us saying clearly what happened. Every year are still suffering pain because of the poison, poisoned meat that you ate. He is still suffering every year. You see? Uh, and then let us continue here. And by the way, he did not kill her right away. He killed her later. 
uh, as you see here in the hadith in the Sahih Bukhari too, the same story. Uh, and look here, look here. This is a Muslim translation. This is the Muslim translation. I felt the effect of the poison on the uh, 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 ovola. I'm not sure if I'm saying the word correctly, but I, I'm guessing that this is the same as the the artery, right? Which is mentioned in different translation. So Muhammad is confirming again and again how and where he died, and this is exactly what the Quran is saying. Uh, look how many hadith. I mean, this is all over. Look, look. This is not a story which is like a, a, a coming from the middle of nowhere. And as you see, the Muslim scholars they agree that Muhammad he died as a murderer by the poisoned sheep. Uh, and the, there's a funny story here that uh, 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 the goat spoke to the prophet. And here I find this miracle or funny miracle is very funny because the goat she spoke to the prophet saying to him, "Don't eat me," after he ate. I mean, isn't it, this is silly? What about Allah? He made the goat speak before. And the guy he ate too. The guy next to Muhammad, he ate from it. So, I mean, Muslim, they fabricate stories, miracles. I mean, it's amazing. Have you ever heard of a God he want to save his prophet by making the goat talk after he ate? So now I ate the poison. I ate the goat. And then Allah, he made the goats speaking to me and says, don't eat it. But I ate it already. So even the, the Muslim miracles is really, I mean, amazing. It's like a cartoon. It's like a Mickey Mouse. And as you see here, the women, she keep confirming, we want to be sure if you are a king, we, you know, if you are a liar, we will get rid of you. If you are a prophet, then you will not be killed. All right. But this is exactly what happened. Muhammad, he died, which means he is a truly a false prophet. All right. And Muhammad, he keeps saying, I am feel my illness and I, it's cutting my aorta, as you see. And this is in total agreement with the Quran. That if he is lying, Allah will cut his artery. So I understand the pain of the Muslims who they see things, which is a very clear evidence that Muhammad is a false prophet. I understand how they point their finger at me and trying to uh, disqualify me from saying like okay Christian Prince is a Christian and he is not sharing the truth with you but look you know Muslims try to be honest for a second everything I'm showing in the screen is coming from your website and what we see in front of us this is not my statement so when you say no the Prophet never said Allah would not let you do that accusing me of lies here we go I got you busted and this is a Sahih Hadith this is a Sahih Hadith, as you see with me. Bukhari, 2617, Sahih Muslim, 2190, narrated that, etc. The woman, she said, I wanted to kill you. Muhammad, he says, Allah would not let you do that. So here, Muhammad, he went, by saying such a statement, he did lie. He did lie. Because how he speak, speak in the name of Allah, that Allah will not let you do that, and then that happened. That's mean Muhammad here is fabricating something have nothing to do with Allah. If Allah is a true God and Allah speaking through Muhammad, Muhammad inspired by Allah through the angel Jibreel, the delivery guy. And obviously Jibreel is the one who told him Allah will not let her do that. So Muhammad, he just opened his mouth and says, Allah will not let you do that. And then we find Muhammad die by that. So either Allah lied to Muhammad or Muhammad lied to Allah or Muhammad lied to the Jewish women. At the end of the day, Muhammad lied to everybody. In the top of that, we have another problem, which is hurting Islam a lot more. The disaster is not over. If we go in the yellow pages, which is the Quran, we will find the Quran repeating all over that any bad things happen to you, it happened only by the will of Allah. Not only that, it's written in the book of Allah, which means Allah, he planned for Muhammad to die by poison. Read carefully. 
no mis mis uh, misfortune you know and this is the translation not my translation can happen on earth or in your soul but it's recorded in a degree before we bring it into existence here we notice that Muhammad he take a credit sorry the God of Muhammad take a credit for all the crimes happen in the world so if you have something wrong happened to me to you if you are a woman a man who rape you Allah he decide that he should rape you if you are a victim of you know a theft if you are a victim of uh, sexual assault if you are a victim of uh, robbery if you are a victim of uh, even car accident all of this happened because Allah he decreed for you before even you exist and it's written in his book so you can't get away with it and this is mean that Muhammad he himself Allah he planned that this woman should she should kill Muhammad but look how dangerous what we just read that's me in the verse in the Quran which is speaking about Muhammad if he lie certainly we are going to cut his artery that's mean this is the plan of Allah to cut the artery of Muhammad since before he created Muhammad because Muhammad is a liar for this is the plan this is the decree nothing happened except by the will of Allah and by the plan of Allah and by the decree of Allah and here we notice that as long as this is the decree of Allah then Allah is the one who decreed the death of Muhammad and he killed him for he's a liar especially the women who is saying I wanted to kill you she is saying I wanted to kill you to see if you are a prophet then you will survive it if you are not a prophet then you will die so the whole purpose of this death is to see if Muhammad is a prophet or not at least for the Jewish women so uh, when you say when you Muslims try to escape this this is totally against your Quran and totally proving Muhammad to be a false totally false prophet it's a disaster actually it's a shame and when Allah he says certainly certainly we are going to cut his artery and we are going to punish him and we are going to cause his death and then another verse and this is in chapter 69 uh, 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 verse uh, 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 46 is speaking about that and then in other verse uh, the Quran is speak in chapter 57 uh, verse number 22 that Allah is the one who decree any misfortune happen to anyone that's mean Allah he decreed the misfortune of the death of Muhammad to Muhammad he was killed by Allah as a penalty and as a punishment for he lying about Allah claiming to be a prophet very clear evident now we are not done i wish we are done look there's more verses in the quran which is a very horrible chapter 64 verse number 11 it says the following no kind of a calamity can occur except by the leave of allah is the death of muhammad uh, uh, by being killed by poison is uh, like it's a it's a uh, a bad thing is it a disaster is it a misfortune uh, is it something happened uh, uh, nobody want yes that's what the Quran is saying but it's not your choice no one can choose to refuse nothing happened except by the leave of Allah and which mean here again the Quran proving to, all, to us that Islam is a stupid cult because this is mean that if somebody rape you it was Allah he made a leave for it rape her rape her okay go go ahead rape her uh, if a woman he if a man is a child molester and he rape a child okay it's by Allah leave okay go ahead go ahead uh, uh, if you are a thief and you want to rob people in the street okay go ahead but it's by Allah leave no problem so what kind of leave this leave is so no kind no exception except by the leave of Allah so the question here as long the women she challenged and she said if you are a prophet then you will not die and Allah will tell you Allah will inform you and you will not die and Muhammad he said to her well would Allah would not let you do that connect this to the verses we showed you where no bad things can happen to anyone except by the leave of Allah Muhammad he said 
Allah will not let you do that remember no one can nothing can happen to you nothing wrong can happen to you except by the leave of Allah so Muhammad here claiming that he have a protection from Allah and nothing wrong will happen to him that alone is a lie because as you see in the same page we see Muhammad saying that he died by the poison and uh, I'm going to post actually the link for everybody so you guys you can have the reference in case in the future we spoke about it uh, somebody saying so why Muhammad he exposed himself like that my friend Muhammad did not expose himself you see it's not his plan he exposed himself yes but not by his plan Muhammad he, now he's dying he's in pain he don't know even what like he is just saying what oh I'm dying etc so Muhammad he for even he don't even remember what he said he is in the moment of death and again Fadi you just made a very clear point that Muhammad exposed himself because if he is a prophet shouldn't he knew better shouldn't he knew that there is no way he is dying by the poison shouldn't he knew that when he said to that woman Allah will not let you do it that's mean it must be cannot happen but Muhammad he said that at the moment he just ate the food Allah will not let you do it but what happened it's different from what he said so when you say why Muhammad exposed himself clearly like that maybe someone lied to him lied to him about what they put poison and the guy next to him he died the guy who was sitting next to him the woman she asked the people what is the best of uh, of uh, of the goat Muhammad he liked to eat they said the shoulder so she put the poison in the shoulder the guy is next to him he grabbed directly from that location and he died immediately Muhammad he stopped eating right after he saw what happened to the guy next to him the guy right away he started feeling the pain because it looked like he ate the where really the poison is like in the the major amount of the poison so Muhammad he stopped eating right away when he saw what happened to the guy next to him and he said to the women Allah will not let you that do, do that so here you need to ask yourself as a Muslim Fadi why Muhammad saying such a statement unless he is fabricating an answer because as you see even your Muslim scholars even Aisha even the hadith even Muhammad saying I am dying because of that food so imagine this we are in a court we have the victim saying I am dying by poison we have the wife of the victim saying I, I he died by poison we have the companion of the prophet saying he died by poison we have a woman who poisoned the prophet she said he died by poison and now the muslim they will say to us he did not die by poison <laughs> you know what i mean do you see you guys the, the the funny thing about this story the victim the killer the wife of the victim the companions the witnesses the quran the hadith all saying muhammad died by poison and now the Muslims they will not believe because this is a crazy that's mean our prophet is a false prophet have you ever heard of a madness but this is because this topic is very sensitive and it like uh, let us say you know in Arabic we say is a uh, so there's you put a hair little hair in a camel and then he break why because he's carrying too much but it's not the hair really what break it but I mean it's too much so now we have too much evidence that Muhammad is a false prophet and when Muhammad he made those statement he never thought he is going to expose himself there's no such a, 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 a but this, uh, look at you know this is what I say I feel sorry for the Muslim I mean the Muslims there are people who open their mouth they don't even read I mean this guy he keep coming here I mean uh, Fadi isn't it obvious that I don't say things from my own pocket it's in the front of you I mean what's wrong with you <laughs> guys uh, uh, where where it says that where there's no such a thing here we go it's in the front of you it's in the front of you I mean why those people they cannot read Why they can't read? It's in the front of your eyes. There's no such a medicine. This is in your books. 
and there is no such a medicine I mean I show it to them I give them the reference I give them the number I give them the website and this is Islamic website Islamic books Islamic scholars Islamic companions the wife of the Prophet Muhammad Aisha everybody and yet he says to me there's no such a thing do you remember the guy where we said to him that the, the, what his name the Sheikh Sheikh Abdul Wadud when I showed him that the Prophet she said that the verses of stoning to death and breastfeeding for adult it was eaten by the goat he said there's no such a thing I said it's in front of you he said brother are you asking so much questions I will need to uh, go now there's no such a thing I said to him are you saying that the Prophet wife is a liar and he ran so as you see as you see all the reference we have evidence which is building up and imagine imagine uh, like you see Jesus he was speaking about himself will be killed I mean it's normal to happen he told them who is going to deny him he told them who is going to betray him he told them what will happen he told them what they will say and even he spoke about the one who will deny him three times so Jesus spoke step by step about what will happen for his death Muhammad never expected him to die in such a way this is why he fabricated verse in the Quran saying well if Muhammad is a liar then Allah will cut his artery uh, 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 Fadi is saying this let us show you and by the way for those who do not know Fadi is a Muslim a poor Muslim I feel sorry for him he is suffering I, I can't tell and I think he will leave Islam sooner or later can you tell me uh, one uh, uh, poison that cut the life of artery or orta because it does not make any sense so I and I do not know why Muhammad said that that's a good question actually you just said that your prophet is a stupid did you notice what you just said uh, Fadi you are saying that does not make sense which means you are saying your prophet is a stupid his words is false his statement is wrong and his artery is not cut off and what he say it does not make sense so thank you very much well all what we are here doing just to show you that everything Muhammad he says does not make sense does it make sense that God will give you an endless private part does it make sense that God will give you a list a lot of women and they are virgins does it make sense that Allah will give you a, a bracelet and I mean uh, what makes sense in Islam my friends now now you are talking about makes sense since when you are a person who follows sense does it make sense that shaitan sleep in your nose piss in your ears jump in your mouth go inside your bum does it make sense that he around himself around your private part and now you are talking about what makes sense I mean when the Muslims speak about doesn't make sense you you, you might think like oh those people are people those, those people they are following Aflatone they are people of philosophy does not make sense what what makes sense in this cult does it make sense that Allah he made a plastic surgery to the Prophet cutting his chest cleaning his uh, liver and his heart and his uh, stomach I mean since when if you want to go to heaven you need such a surgery and then we install a dish of wisdom and dish of faith have you ever heard of uh, any religion believe that faith and wisdom they come in dishes and we can push them inside the belly of somebody and now you are talking about sense I'm really convinced I mean that's it you're logical you are a philosopher I mean next to your name I advise you to change your name from Fadi to change it to the following look who is talking All right guys Fadi he says look at this so you are your point is uh, that true God exposed Muhammad in this hadith that goes back uh, to fit with the Quran thank you at the end you uh, you uh, you uh, uh, you got it but it's not your God who exposed Muhammad let me tell you what happened God exposed him but not Allah which mean I believe that my God my God he is the one who get Muhammad busted 
not your God because your God is not exist and he can he can do nothing your God is false God so here you notice that Muhammad he made a statement he thought he will never die there's there's a there's a verse in the Quran that says if the prophet he was killed or he died I mean have you ever heard of a prophet says that I mean there's a third option look at this let me show you this verse In chapter 3, verse number 144, the Quran says, Muhammad is no more than a messenger. Many were messengers that passed away before him. By the way, it doesn't say many messengers passed away before him. It says all messengers pass away before him. False translation. And the reason they change it because that a contradiction for Jesus' story. Because according to Muslims, Jesus is still alive and he will never die. So when the Quran says, وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهُ الرُّسُلُ That's mean there's no Muhammad is just a messenger and all messengers before him they pass away. All. So what about Jesus? So this is a contradiction. This is why the, 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 the translator they say he is no more than a messenger. Many. What do you mean many? What do you mean many? Many only or all? <laughs> it's false translation but if he die or were is slain have you ever heard of a god you do not know how muhammad will die i mean imagine you have your wife she will deliver a baby and you ask me christian prince are you a prophet i say to you yes i am my name is muhammad and then you ask me what is the gender i say to you is going to be either male or female well nice to meet you so what do you mean if he die or were slain if there's a third option the one who is talking is Allah. And then he says to us, if he die or slain, because Muhammad, he is not sure how he will die. So to cover his bum, he says, okay, if I die or been slain, because he do not know, he is fabricating Quran. If Muhammad, he knew, he would say as Jesus said. If Muhammad knew what will happen, he will tell what will happen. But he do not know what happened. What about Muhammad says, if I die by poison? That will be amazing. What if Muhammad saying, "I uh, if I uh, get killed, confirming his death, how he's going to be?" But because Muhammad is trying to cover, he doesn't know. He might die. He might be killed. So if he die or get killed, <laughs> so as you see. Whatever we go try to protect Muhammad, you cannot. I mean, especially if you are talking to me. Maybe you can play games with somebody who have very little knowledge about this cult. But you cannot do this game with me, my friend. It's your, it's not your fault, by the way. But I know you are a Muslim and you try to, to defend Islam, but it's stupid. Look at this. It's not your fault. You cannot defend. Nobody can defend the stupidity. Nobody. You can defend the stupidity only with a bunch of ignorance who do not know anything about Islam. But you cannot do that with me. Imagine, you know, you ask me what is the weather will be tomorrow. I say to you, is it going to be sunny or is it going to be a rainy? Uh, what is that? Well, this is a prophet of God. So, uh, let me make a prophecy. I want to make a prophecy. Guys, I want to tell you what happened 1400 years ago. Muhammad either he died or he been slain and I confirm that to you. I mean, wow I mean how Christian Prince he knew that how he knew what happened 1400 years ago He just told all us what happened either he died or he will be slain That's amazing. Maybe the angel Jibreel he came to Christian Prince and he told him what happened That's astonishing my friend I mean, you see, this like you Muslims, you try to argue with me and supposedly trying to refute me. But the more you try to refute me, the more the more you put fire in the and wood in the top of your prophet the grave. And now there's nobody can refute this. And you know what? Let us see how many of you can refute me. All the evidence and the funny, the funny, the Muslim they say to, to us like there's a guy he posted says the Christian prince the prophet did not kill her. No, he did kill her. He did kill her. 
I mean, do you Muslim read? Do you even read? He killed her. Even here we go. Your Muslim scholars, they are saying and they are reporting the hadith for you. That he killed her, but he did not kill her immediately. He ordered her to be executed. Al Sindhi said the word he was killed mean by the poison in the meat of the sheep that which he ate when the effect of that appeared when he was dying. This is another quotation. Like they are giving you a reference from your Islamic scars. Al Bukhari narrated from his Sahih, etc. 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 That the prophet, when he died, he says, I feel that the pain is cutting, etc. So, uh, Muhammad is saying that Muslims agree with that, and all the reference is built up. And you, Muslims, you agree that you're a prophet, he died as a murderer, as you claim, but this death as a murderer or not, whatever you call that death, proving to us that Muhammad is a prophet, which is a false one. And what you can do about it your reference your scholars your words you are the witness and yes the prophet he executed her so I feel really sorry for you following such a prophet uh, but I'm trying to help you my friend and there is a guy by the way he says I don't know really much about Islam, but listening to Christian Prince videos, Alhamdulillah, I became a Muslim. I mean, you Muslims are funny when you, I mean, you try to learn how to lie from Muhammad. I mean, who is the world was going to believe in this? So you became a Muslim because you listen to my videos? You're right. Absolutely. I believe you. It's a true story. Sahir Bukhari. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of pain. A lot of pain. So, yes, Christian Prince is doing a lot of pain, but the purpose is not to make you in pain, my friend. If you are a Muslim, the purpose is to share the truth with you, and the truth will set you free. Muhammad is nothing but a false prophet, and the reference is building up. And you know what? When we we call somebody a prophet, have you ever heard a prophet? But his prophecies, all of them, are false. And here we go. This is one of them. Allah will not let you do that. This is a prophecy, because Muhammad here is speaking about Allah will, and the Quran says that Allah will punish Muhammad by cutting his artery the same exactly as Muhammad he said he's dying with Allah will not let you do that so I truly I, I feel uh, feel sorry for the Muslims but trust me we are not here to come in here to humiliate you we are here to help you so you can uh, uh, see the truth and you can you know uh, make a decision about what you want to do in your life because you are following obviously a false prophet we don't hate Muslims we will never hate them we feel for them and Muslims they can be a very wonderful people but they are following a false prophet who teach violence hatred and anger and the conspiracy and here we go and by the way this woman Muhammad he killed her tribe so I'm not really surprised for what she did I mean what you expect what you expect nothing Muhammad he slaughtered them so I'm not surprised really that she killed him right uh, he's saying to me Fadi did you okay hold on let me let's answer this did you check the modern the modern Islamic scholar guy uh, Fadi did you did you say modern I mean it's really funny when you say modern is that a, like a new model is that a fashion I mean, this is history. It's written 1,400 years ago. So what a modern scholar can say. And by the way, the website we are reading from here, are they those modern scholars? Or the one who is writing there, the answer for you, he is writing it from the time of Muhammad. <laughs> what modern? Like saying to me, what is the modern, uh, 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 modern Christianity? There's no modern Christianity. The Bible is the Bible. Jesus is Jesus. Do we have more than Jesus who say different words? So always I, I, I feel sorry for the Muslims when they try 
to come with the like self, self like how we can save the prophet did you did you check the moderate or the modern uh, scholar those are the modern scholars this website is where in the time of your prophet they have a they have a website who are they, those people who they are talking there my friend those are the moderate those are today however you should not go by the moderate because this is history written 40 years ago so if somebody today he will not agree with it that's because he's trying to go in denial with the with the facts you have to prove you have to bring facts from the same time which is opposing this but nobody can find them this is what we have and the Muslims agree upon so when you say uh, we have uh, you know did you check uh, the moderate what moderate Shabir Ali who keep making mistakes you do not even know how to read the Quran you don't even know how to say his prophet name or no man Khan so I feel sorry for you and again this is the link for the reference for those who want to read if you are a Muslim if you are a Christian this is the link please save the link I will post it actually I will you know what I will post it in the comment link for I hate what I'm, I'm typing in Arabic and this actually this link is very good because the 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 one who made this answer uh, uh, he you know he gathered a lot of reference and uh, as you see here he made it clear that the prophet he died as a murderer all right you see and even here this uh, this uh, this hadith here saying that uh, 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 if i were to swear by allah nine times that the messenger of Allah he died by that poison was killed I will do that and this is a Sahih Hadith all right so I feel sorry for those who try uh, to defend but you cannot do that I mean this is a mission impossible and I understand it's not your fault to 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 uh, uh, to be suffering with this conclusion that you're a prophet he was a false prophet because this is what all the story is about. He is a false prophet. Now imagine I make a prophecy he says if a Christian prince he die or get killed. <laughs> what a prophet is that? So I hope that's the Muslim who, who try to refute me. He will repent and he accept the truth. And my friend, the truth will set you free. I am not against you as a person. I am just sharing the truth again for those who speak Spanish my book in Spanish the second one which is translation for Quran and science uh, maybe it's out already actually you can search the name in uh, in Amazon if it's out already but it should be uh, out already or maybe a few hours from now so if you speak Spanish feel free to get your copy and we have now uh, two of my books translated to Spanish which is the deception of Allah and Quran and science both of them they are in Spanish and for sure we have them in German and uh, soon we will have in Russian and Portuguese and God uh, is great and doing great help for us by sending great people who help and they do you know give us uh, a lot of a great work and blessing for us so I want to say thank you guys for being here and feel free please right away after we finish this video to download the video share it with your friends and don't forget to learn and take notes those who just listen you know knowledge will go from one ear or get out from the other ear don't be like that don't be because what the benefit why you want to waste your time if you are not here to learn just go and watch a movie if you are not a person about knowledge this is here for a knowledge and knowledge my friend change us knowledge truly change you it change you even how, how you speak to your family how you speak to your wife how a wife speak to her husband a knowledgeable person he will be a new person 
especially we are talking about knowing God so knowledge is very important extremely important it can change change even your structure as a man the way you think the way you act the way you do things same for the women so knowledge is should be your number one favorite hobby make it a hobby something you love not something extra it's not a fantasy it's not a luxury it should be your daily food because this is the only thing to grow with you and make you more priceless the rest of you will go in the opposite direction if you are handsome one day you will get old and you will have wrinkles and your your hair will lose color and then you start doing maintenance in the in the shop every few days to go into the uh, and then later you have an oxygen carried in your back and but there's one thing which is going to grow when the rest all of it will go in the opposite direction that is knowledge and wherever you go if you are a person who have knowledge people will respect you people will receive you people will give you the best place to listen to you even if you are a person who maybe don't even speak a good language or their language because always your knowledge will speak out for you so I advise you always to learn take notes and don't be just a person who listen and let things get in and get out you know in China they say he left as a horse he never came back as a donkey don't be that donkey never be all right oh sorry I said in the opposite he left as a donkey he never came back as a horse so don't be that ho don't be that donkey yes don't be that donkey who left as a donkey came back as a horse and this is meant it's not about a donkey and a horse is about a person he went he traveled but he learned still nothing he left as a donkey he came back as a donkey and my friend you are a human being God he gave you a gift use it use it and you will see how priceless the gift of God is for you thank you very much for being here and may the Lord bless you all and I will see you soon again Christ is Lord Islam is false and we prove it every day take care